Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. And today, the best Atari 7800 Yay! games, according to the <laughs> nomination committee. Yes. Not me. Um, but they are very, very good games. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to play through them. We're going to be playing through the Atari 7800 completed original games. Okay. And the Atari 7800 completed... Uh, ports. That sounds very exciting. Yes, yeah. they are some good games. <clears throat> um, if I recall, there were a lot of really good 7800 games oh that my came God. out this, this year. This year is like so tons. good. Uh, in, if you include the uh, works in progress as well, it's yeah. just an astoundingly good set of games. That's cool. This, this is being super slow. So another three hour show tonight then. <laughs> there, uh, maybe we have awesome. to restrain ourselves from playing these games too long because they're all really, yeah. really good. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and the matching shirt. Yes. I try and uh, keep and on the, theme. Ooh, the, 7, the matching 7800. A little in the uh, shadow there, but you can see it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 3D. Put on your 3D glasses now. <laughs> yes. Uh, I want to thank uh, all the Twitch subscribers scrolling down beside yes. Tanya. Uh, and they are Al Nafarov, Scar Coder, Atari Age, Bobber, Man, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Kefman, Man 2D, Charles Whelan, Tribe 5, Dino, Danica C. Daryl, 1970, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, M.U. Dan, Fox, Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Wander Rado, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Lauren TDZ, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Hotel, Mixed Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonawu, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Orin, Ordon Ecro, Backrat, VG, Cog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Spicer, SMR, the D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan, K Trek, MD, X Ken X, and I don't see your name on there. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> just not I, a big I, supporter of the me. show. It never tells me. <laughs> no, it doesn't tell anyone, which is why I have to remind you, if yeah. your name wasn't read out and you usually subscribe, hit subscribe now and it'll come up on the screen because I know some people wait till the show starts before they hit subscribe so their name comes up uh, and, and then and you we can say start thank a hype you. train. And, yeah, yeah, that yeah, kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, hit subscribe if you want to. If you don't, hit follow because then it'll tell you when we're on. Mm. You can see us live. Uh, so, mail. We have mail, actually. This, the, these signs aren't my creation. No, the, I bought them online. However, my coasters on, uh, have all been eBay. completed. So, we've got all yes. the coasters. We showed them out flash Ooh, show. I did show them out flash show. Um, now they've been finished and yeah. nicely rounded Ooh. on the top. Good evening, Analog 1975. Yeah. But these came from an Etsy store, I believe, right? Etsy? Uh, no. Th I think they're on Etsy, but I bought them through eBay. E oh, okay. Oh, I know okay. one of them has, they're online. The, has the name thetdshop.com. Oh, there it is. Sure, thetdshop.com. That's where I got them. And and they are laser cut. Yes. Uh, quite nice colors and shiny. That very one's nice. very the Atari. nice. Ooh, yeah. it's oh, Pac-Man Plus got... Uh, some as well. On eBay too, yeah. Yeah. We have them in a whole host of uh, themes. Atari. Yeah, all of the big ones. Atari. He doesn't actually Atar offer Atari Jaguar or Lynx. Oh, well, he's going to have to add so that. So bought Atari. all the other ones. Let's see what's in this package. Mm -hmm. I think it is something I bought Mail. on Black Friday. And I usually buy one item from this person every Black Friday. Mmm um because they're not cheap so i kind of space it out over the years and i think i've bought one every time uh it is from crick's uh everdrive but which one they're all called everdrive all of them <laughs> yes i've got a good collection of them i think this completes Your collection. every single one of them mm. i think for all the Game systems I have. Lynx isn't a big one. It's a handheld. <laughs> it's the small one. Mm. So, let's show what this is. Meryl, Payne, Open, Muriel, Sagat, Karadinar. Subscribing! Oh, here it is. Fancy. The Ooh, EverDrive X7. GBX7. So, this is for the Game Boy. Mm. And this is the best uh, Game Boy one they have. 
so it does the best emulation it has save states you can save your games on games that can be saved um emulates pretty much anything you can put into a game boy very nice so that is a lot of fun like game boy color as, as well i think mm -hmm. game boy advance as well um so this is very 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 useful mm -hmm. and i think that does complete my collection of the Everdrive? yeah uh, um yeah so i can use them in all the systems i've got one for the pc engine mm -hmm. got one for all the probably want to oh, back yeah yeah Nobody wants to look at that. <laughs> um, so this one came in a very nice box. It did. It's yeah. very nicely, yeah. appropriately packaged. I love things when they're nice in the cut foam and they fit yeah. and they don't move. Really, really very nice. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> okay. So on with uh, some news. Lots of people in the chat today, too. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Yeah. Tons of people. Yeah. Uh, so Jet said Illy posted this on Saturday uh, about his 2600 emulator so it's not just stella there's one called gopher 2600 as well mm -hmm. and it is it's pretty cool uh lots of changes have accumulated in the last couple of months full change log and binaries here the main new feature is the performance profiling of arm binaries this requires an arm using rom to be compiled in a certain way but it's been useful to me so far and there's a video there but we'll be taking a look at it in a second um so lots of updates probably one of the coolest ones is that there is pinout readings on the 6507 chip mm -hmm. it tells you exactly what is being output on each pin of the main chip of the processor on the atari 2600 mm -hmm. um some other cool things he's added in a some bots to play the game for you while you're checking out the game added rudimentary support for bots capable of playing roms independently wow <laughs> like he's added in ai to play the games mm. still a work in progress but example bots for space jockey and video chess have been implemented Interesting. crazy yeah. he's added support for ef with or without super chip that um there's a number of games that mm. use that uh tiger vision missing supercharger bios handed handled like lots of lots of updates so you can check out oh good zero page indexing addressing causing phantom uh, read correctly now mm. fix that zero page <laughs> <laughs> um wait now we're using ai to replace beta <laughs> testers yeah no more beta testers yeah. needed yeah just run them through this uh run them through this yeah. uh, emulator soon the emulators will be creating the games too and then no one will have <laughs> you won't need to do anything to, yeah nobody needs no. to play them <laughs> nobody needs to make them yeah they just make and play themselves carl g it's just soda it's nothing exciting it's oh. mint mint lime soda that's well, pretty exciting it's uh, tasty so let's take a look at the interface so what i've got here is i've got uh a roach in space loaded oh 2600 cool. nice and i've got here's the pinout right here mm -hmm. so that's big enough for everyone um so if you run the program i don't think that's oh it is picking it up desktop desktop audio yep it's probably way too loud oh it is sorry about your ears but if you click run on the game you can see all the pinouts lighting up as they're being addressed which is which is absolutely amazing that's pretty cool um probably getting killed there um and it's got so many things look it's got a collision map that you can watch in real time this has rewind so you can do uh rewind a frame or go frame forward uh you can go line by line watch the scan lines go down or you can rewind mm -hmm. the scan lines you can step through your program here's the assembly code as it's going step through just like just like um stella as well mm. um and you can see there's just so so much going on oh you can either even in the step by step do a CRT preview. So it's got all the scan lines there. Mm. Super, super cool. Uh, turn on the debug colors. 
right from here. Uh, oh, I can show the overscan as well. It's it's really 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 handy tool for developers. Mm. Um, okay, so let's continue on. Um, nostalgic made a war games reference. Just oh, uh, did he about playing three D you know, tic tac toe? And... Oh, <laughs> what did he say? He said uh, next we have to set up bots to play three D tic tac toe. Eventually the emulator will crash and determine that the only way to win is not to play. Yes, yes, that's right. hilarious. Come on up here, kittens. Okay, so uh, I was. I don't know how I ran across this. I think this was posted in a Facebook group. Oh. So, let me get my notes, actually. Nice. So, a Brazilian YouTuber named uh, Marcio Fox uh -huh. uh, streamed himself playing all the nominated Atari Homebrew Awards 2600 games. Oh, nice. Um, so, he ran through all the games, one by one, just like we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And did all the 2600 ones. Oh, so I like that. There that he is in the corner. Background. Um, oh, actually, I tried to watch it in... Oh, cat, stop it! Are you going to auto-translate in English? Yeah, it was. I was trying to figure out uh, what he was saying, right? Because I can't speak... <laughs> I can't speak Portuguese. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it did a terrible job, so it uh, was a always, little hard to follow. It's always entertaining. What he's saying. It's always entertaining. Even even the English to English translations are always entertaining. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. It was better. Now you can see it. Um, so yeah, he ran through all the games just like we're doing. Um, played through them all. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I watched a bit of it because the translation is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was uh, really fun. So it'd be good for the people in Brazil or people who speak Portuguese um, to catch that YouTube. To catch that YouTube Very uh, nice. video. Yep. Um, so what's the next one? Oh, this is very cool. This is a ray casting engine for the Atari 8 bit computer, uh, which is quite advanced for an 8-bit system. I think your video might still be running in the tab. Oh, yeah. That, well, that won't be too much of a problem. Will it just, will it create noise? No, nope, it's not. Okay, good. It won't, because I've had it muted. Sure. <laughs> just so, making sure. So, uh, Globe posted on Sunday, yeah. finally got some time this weekend to finish the preview of 128K Raycaster engine. Mm -hmm. Features resolution 80 by 48, fisheye correction, proper wall slice scaling, fullable, fully adjustable controls, Reworked weapons with very short animations. Um, mm. So we're going to take a very quick look at it. It is not a game. It is an engine where you can run around the maze. Okay. And shoot your weapon at nothing. Oh, and so I've got it preloaded. So we don't have to... took a little while to figure out the settings. Other people are having trouble booting it up as well. So I'm playing it in Altira. And you have to set everything's very specific way. Uh, oh, that's too big. That's too big. There we go. Boom. Okay, so there's lots of uh, configurable uh, key presses for this. But let's jump into it and show you what it looks like. go there's no sound so this is the normal gun you can strafe left and right wow you can run with the shift key i think it's shift yeah yeah shift and let's check out the weapons that's the shotgun uh. boom boom <laughs> Uh, it's a chain gun. Nice. Very cool. It lights up the screen, too. And very nice uh, turning. Hmm. Like, really, really nice. And there's one more weapon, I think, which is, like, the laser blast. Mm. So it sounds like uh, they're thinking about making this into a full game. So on the Atari 8-bit, which is super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. There's another one. Oh, yep. There's another laser-type weapon. Nice. Yeah. 
So it's got the angle at the bottom yeah. and how fast it's going. 24, gotcha. that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Like this is um, probably dropped down once you had a monster in. A BFG. Oh, yeah. That's the BFG. Destroying everything in its path. And back to the normal hand gun. Doom. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, you can make Doom with this. Possibly. We'll see how, how, how many frames per second they get when mm. they add some uh, monsters in roaming around having to f calculate scaling of monsters. Mm -hmm. Well, you could add in like just three or four sizes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so you don't have to do perfect scaling. There we go. So super, super cool. Wolfenstein. Yeah. Yes. Feels very Wolfenstein. Yep. Yes. So I thought I would talk about that because I ran across that. thought it was awesome. And mm -hmm. that is it for the news. So let's get on to the games. Bring on the games. Kitten. No. What are you looking for? Expect. Oh, he's running away. <laughs> he's a funny kitty. He is. So the first game does not have a binary. Mm. It's only on cartridge. So we can't play it because I don't have the cartridge. Oh. But fair. there is a video that we can take a look at of it. Okay. So um, we can't play it? No. It's only on cartridge. And I don't have it. Uh, so this is called Adventures of Ollie Troll by uh, Walter Lauer um, and Franco Dragon. Mm -hmm. And so here is the video of it, Adventures of Ollie Troll. Coding by Franco Dragon. I guess Walter Lauer had the um, idea. You guys should know that Ollie the Troll is the mascot of my games. He lives in the land of Snail? <laughs> Smail? Smail? Uh, he is a little bit sad that Atari Charles is so slow with the story of part two. <laughs> so Ollie decides to force evil Atari Charles to continue. I, I paused it, so... Oh. Uh, with the story a little bit faster, but the evil one kidnapped his a girl. Yeah, there's only so many... So much you can do with three characters wide. <laughs> Looks like uh, G-I-A-L. Uh, and Ollie must rescue her on your journey to the evil castle. You must avoid lots of obstacles. Over some obstacles you can jump. Are you brave enough? Nice. Press L to start. So let's just... There we go. So it looks like avoid the falling things type of game. And get to the goal on the other side. Mm. I turn it around. Oh my god. <laughs> Got down that a bit. Did he get killed? I missed it. Yep. Yep. Game over. We get one life. Nice. Unforgiving. So it looks like it's in monochrome. Um, they look like cookies dropping from the sky. They could be deadly, deadly huge cookies. There we go. Hello there. Oh. Oh, now it's arrows. arrows. Let's see. Oh, there's oh there's more levels. obstacles. Okay. So, oh, it looks like they skipped ahead in the video. Oh, there's a dragon. Oh my goodness. So you have to watch. If Jump things that are in front of you and jump things that are behind you as well. Going my way? <laughs> uh, falling... Seagull heads? Seagulls? <laughs> sideways rabbits? Uh, so there's a variety of falling enemies. Let's skip ahead. Oh, 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 things coming at you. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Such an old town. It's so funny. <laughs> Yep. Quest for tires, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or moon... Well, not moon control. But yeah, quest for tires. That would be the, probably the most apt one. Mm -hmm. Seems to be some stutter when objects are falling. Is that the video or the game? Don't know. Don't yeah. have the game. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it. it's... it. The video is a little fuzzy, so it could be the video recording. Mm. It's hard to tell, though. Mm. Also, it almost sounds like quest for tires sound when they're jumping. Yep. Has had that sound. Let's see if there's any other any other levels. Oh, it doesn't look like they passed the tire, jumping the tire level. Oh, it's fading out. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Uh, there's no demo. There's no binary to download. So that is the game for you to check it out. Uh, reminds me of the logs on Pitfall. That too. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's probably one of the earliest. Uh, kind of examples of mm. things rolling at you. Maybe, maybe not. That's the most famous one, anyway. Is there a score or something? Uh, yeah. I did show score when he died, didn't when he, it? When he died? At the very yeah. end? Yeah. Let's see if I can find a death. Oh, oh, oh yeah. there it was. 
I saw it for a second, and then I fast forwarded it. Am I gonna die? There, score 217. So it's when you die, there's the score. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Anyway, just there's the score. <laughs> I switched it back to us. Okay, now we're gonna go on to. Uh, so this is the bet eight Atari seventy eight hundred best home brew original. Mm -hmm. Next one up is EXO by Muddy Vision, Lewis Hill, uh, and Bobby Clark's in the Papalooza for the music. Here is your controls. Thank you. And let's switch over to the game. Um, boom. Atari 7800. Oh, it's not loaded. I kept it on though, so that it'd be warmed up and not show crazy colors. Crazy colors. <laughs> One of the bigger games takes a little while to load. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. Oh, a nice Christmas season greeting at the front. <laughs> yep, that's where it was cut off, <laughs> December 31st, so it was a Christmas release here. Yep, release candidate A, 25th of December. <laughs> okay. I like the logo, too. Oh, it's, it's shiny. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a shiny Like button. a drawn logo. Yep. Yeah, very stylized. Okay, so uh, let's just jump into the launch. Excellent. Go for uh, it. Which, yeah. Revan Tilly says, congrats on EXO. I've been amazed watching its progress. Oh, yeah, 100%. It it's is incredible. So like, amazing. These cutscenes <laughs> as you launch. It tells a little story, too. Unbelievable. Sets the bar really high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see how good you are at this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Remember how to play? Sort of. You can land on things, though. Uh, yeah, some things, not those. Maybe somebody should make a knitted 7800 uh, cozy to keep it warm when not in use. Oh, yeah, you gotta oh, keep God. you gotta keep your 7800 warm. That's true. So you get the right color. Just blast through it. Just go right through. There you go. Oh, don't go up. Wait. I know. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I, ah! Not trying to. Big dog Susie Ford, 2069. First chat. First chatter says, "Oh wow, this looks impressive. It is. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Get it. Oh, nice. Ooh, Ooh. close. Oh. Ah. Oh, go back. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh my ah. God. Oh. There, checkpoint. Yeah, this has great music. The graphics are astounding. Uh -huh. It's good to do the checkpoint. Well, sort Seven of. Seven lives left. Very generous with lives, thankfully. I think you have to go down really fast. You do. You have to wait for the pack to go by and then yeah. go down. There's like they a... can kill you with one pixel going like... up on the screen. So there's a... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> it takes a little while to kind of... Ah! Come oh, on. Oh, yes, that's right. All the all the rooms are named. I keep forgetting that. Ah. Shooting, shooting them's a bad tactic. Actually, really? Because they reappear almost instantly again. Oh, this I get it. No more than four on the screen. Memento Mori. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it takes a while to get used to the uh, controls again. I know. Hey, Amazon delivering. Woo! <laughs> Played this game and and actually succeeded in getting past this one level. So. Yay, Amazon! <laughs> Yay, you made it past. <laughs> you can you shoot the other uh, weapon at it if you want. How do I do that again? The other button. Oh. <laughs> Well, no, uh, don't shoot that one. This one? That one's not bothering you. Yeah, that one. There you go. 
Oh, because it does... Ah! Floats up. Yes. Floats up or down. So, so do go I go up, up first? There. there, checkpoint. <sighs> Two lives left. Oh, my God. I know. Terrible. Terrible. Is that a door to the right? Left, I mean. Uh, it is a door that will open, but not right now. It's a, it's a secret room. Ah! Run! Ah! Run! <laughs> do I have to hit this thing? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. And then boot it. Oh, bad timing. No, terrible nope. timing. Lots of Easter eggs in the room name. Oh. Dulce Periculum. Ooh, that was close. Close. I like the backgrounds aren't simple grid, but have different shapes. Yeah, they're all very different. And they all have their own distinct kind of puzzle to, to figure out. Thank you. Poor Tari. Nobody's fed Atari. Oh, no. He's chewing on the cords now. After this game, somebody can feed Atari. <laughs> so hungry for treats, he's chewing on cable. Yeah. No, he rubs those cables. Thank ah! you. Damn it! Ah! Back. Back you go. Gutsy moving. Oh. Is it? Oh, ah! oh my God. That was gutsy moving. <laughs> Big Dog Susie just subscribed to ZPH. Yay. Thank you so much for enjoying the content. Come here, Atari. Come thank. Come thank Big Dog Susie. Come on. Come here. Oh, the Oh, complaints. so many complaints. He says, thank you. Thank you so much, Big Dog Susie. <laughs> Reminds me of a Commodore 64 game. It does. Yes, it was it modeled has... after one. The name escapes me right now, but I'm sure somebody can put it in to the chat. Um, oh, Sa Cybernoid, that's it. Thank you so much, BHZC. Oh, no. That yeah, you don't need to rush. Yeah, Muddy Funster says, it's difficult if you rush. Oh, what? Just happened there. I, I, I just picked up the box. Oh, yeah, I think you have to shoot the box, and then it turns into something. And then you... What? Maybe not. Well, I got the box, so... Good shooting. Thank you. Ah! Imagine playing this with the CX52 analog stick. Oh my god. That would be hard. Good job. Lure them out. I do find it. <laughs> Mustang uh, Sally. It's a fun game, but it. Yeah. Acta non verba. Mm. Yeah, this one. No! Oh! No! <laughs> you have to get closer. Uh, no, I don't have any. Do I? Uh, you have 14. Oh, I do? Oh. I think the box had a bunch in there. There you go. Oop, oh, too that's close. Okay. That's going to be a little tough, but uh, you could probably do it. <sighs> you have to go pretty far to lure them out. Oh my goodness. It's like the back end of your ship has to... <laughs> no. Yeah, who shoots ammo? It's not like it's fuel ah! or something. <laughs> Played this on the A700. It's very good muddy. Yes, it is. There you go. Now you've got, you've destroyed the, I don't know what it uh, is, the engine piece. Yeah. Now you have to get the key card. Uh, and they're all back again. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, oh! Ivory Tower Collection says, I play it with my Brat controller, same as Tanya's using. Mm -hmm. It is the best. It is a good controller. So good. Very nice. Okay, um, so definitely give that one a try. Oh, perfect Yay! timing, Charles Wheeland. Charles Wheeland. Oh, there's a happy cat. There's a very happy cat. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh kitty. We'll have the EXO music going in the background. There we go. For the cat treats. Oh, ding, ding, three, four, five. <laughs> That's five dings. You're not getting five treats. <laughs> no, one at a time, kitty. Not five treats, but he was like, finally, ding, 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 ding. Treats or nip? We have uh, we have a nip here too. Maybe later. <laughs> maybe it was very messy, yeah. and we don't have a dish for it right now. Oh, we can put it on a uh, uh, coaster yeah. or something. Yeah, we could. Yep. Oh. <laughs> treats now. <laughs> treats now. We took it out of the room. You have to be in the room and... Uh, He'll be back. He has to come back you, during the Thank you. Thank Charles Whelan. This is not under emulation. No. This is on a dragonfly. Ding. Okay. So, 
the next game that we're going to be playing uh, in the category of Atari 7800 Best Homebrew Original is Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days by VHZC, who's in the chat. Yay! So, ding. Three more treats. Two Three more. more treats. Three more treats. I'm sure James and Tanya will have an urge to feed cats every time they hear yeah. a bell. <laughs> he has an urge to get the treats every time he hears a bell on TV. Yeah. Or when I'm like re-watching the video. Oh, yeah. For like <laughs> video quality. He hears the bell on the it comes video. comes running from downstairs like treats. Where? Treats. Where? Yeah. Where? It's like, Where's no, no, treats? it's on TV. <laughs> it's not a real one. Oh, what are you doing? You're so crazy. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a doorbell on TV. I mean, dogs do that yeah. too. And he's like, oh my God, it's delivery. Yeah. Okay. Good kitty. Last one? Yeah, last one. Okay, there you go. Ah, it's sad that he gets fooled by that. He <laughs> just he just hears bell and thinks yummy. So that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Something yummy, to eat. Food time. Look at that Ooh. tail. <laughs> Ready. Yeah, I think I missed that. Atari Fox Plus. You gonna play Ready? this one? Sure. Yeah, I know. Atari I presents to, I Night Guy yeah, so, Castle so. Days. Very nice. Who is candidate one? Which one shall we do? Wow. The kitty! Yeah. Your cat was kidnapped by an evil dragon. <laughs> Go and rescue him. Straight to the oh, point. Look at that little cutie. Oh, it's a gray oh, cat. Oh, it's an Atari. It's an Atari gray cat. There we are. Nice tree over there. Mm -hmm. Can't jump on the tree. So it's lots of fun puzzles. All the VHC, VHZC um, type of enemies. Things that go back and forth. Fireballs that nice. jump up. Nice fiery pit down there. That's awesome. Flaming skulls. Anything up here? Anything up here? No. <laughs> Hissy snake. A snake that will kill you. Dropping I acid. Love, I love that little extra of the, the skeleton just Oh, well, that's somebody away. who didn't jump. That's awesome. Didn't get through that. No. That's one of the previous night guys. Yeah, he didn't make it. No, sadly. Or one of previous playthroughs. <laughs> I love the I love the sounds, the booming sounds of the Oh yeah. Bullets and the big Oh look, a sword. Oh, yay! But is it a trap? It is a trap! this cup done. I was gonna say it. You, <laughs> you, you say that like you you knew it was a trap. It is a trap. <laughs> it's a skeleton shooting red balls at me. I've soundedly <laughs> defeated him. Nostalgic. Nasty twist right away. Which is your favorite? Okay, bad stuff happens to your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, which one do you want to get kidnapped? Yeah. He likes to be stabbed. He throws out hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Those always get me. I know. You have to be very precise with and how you jump and over And it's hard them. to jump them like boom, boom yeah. in a row, too. And dead. Stabby stab. Oh, that floor seems to be a little broken. Let's jump over it. Ah! <laughs> it's actually a good thing that it falls. You'll see why. And I have a key now. Yay! Because then it's a shortcut. Yay, shortcuts. You can uh, skip skip some parts. So, super fun platformer. Incredible graphics, incredible sound. All put together by one person. Vladimir Zuniga. Ooh, 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 ooh little baddies. It almost like, looks like they're shadowed. Like the graphics, like yeah, like it's got a, sh a yeah. shadow on one of the wings. Very, very clever graphics. And one of these. Oh, now I've got a key. Yay, key! Woot. Open! Now the key's gone. It disintegrated in the lock. Oh, spiky. 
Very spiky. <laughs> Ooh. Very bladey. <laughs> oh god. Come my way? Yep, yeah. yeah, it is. Okay. I think this is safe right here, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh, you found a sneaky... Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky I think spot. it's an extra life. Extra life. Or not. I think that's only if you have less than four oh, lives. Yeah. It gives you Maybe. a... Maybe. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, look at that deadly lava. Ah! Ah! That's not a safe spot. Mm. Uh, where is... Okay, behind that. That's a safe spot. Oh, mm -hmm. hit my head. Regroup. Bonk. Bonk. I always find these terrifying because it seems like the so clearance short. is so tight. It is. It's, it's <laughs> not much clearance. Now you have the shooty guys. Oh, get that skull. Yeah. And a puff of green smoke. Ah. I, uh, ha, ha, ha. I love it. Yeah, it gets you like moving and then it's like, no, no, no. You have to stop. Mm -hmm. Don't just keep moving. And a big shiny red button. Yay, buttons. That did something. And then you have to traverse. Like a lot of VHZC games, reuses screens. I love which it. Which is good. It gives it a puzzly feel to it, too. Yeah, it's like, oh, I see. Where do I need to go next? Oh, I yeah. I can see where then. I have to go, but I can't get there quite yet. Yeah, that's good stuff. This one doesn't have a breakaway. Red equals bad. Green <laughs> equals good. So we'll play this one to a point, because I think I can get can you go to fairly the, yeah. far. No, there's nothing there. Because I need to die to, for it to... Here, I believe. Oh no no sorry I meant um yeah that's all that's all good. And this is empty. Oh, oh big boss. What is this one? Oh yeah. Now more adventurous uh, souls can jump up and hit that multiple times as it's going up. Oh, as it's coming up? Ah. As, it, as it goes back up. If you touch it, though, does it kill you? Uh, if you touch it, that not, like, like you're not, if you touch it with your body and not your sword. Yeah, it yes. would be problematic. Yeah. So, so a challenge, a challenge. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't risk it. Because mm. I've tried that before and I usually die. What a face. What is this? The face on what the boss. What a face on the boss. Yeah, I know. He's angry and heavy. Slam! Did not get hit by him. I love the shake, 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 boom. Let's see if I can do it. Very much like like the. Uh, oh, oh! He's almost there. dead. Yeah, he went orange for a second. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, nice. Got him. And there's an extra life. Yay! Up to five now. Yeah. It's like a stony expression. <laughs> yes. Another added extra mm. uh, issue up there to deal with. Not too bad though. Ooh. Very wide obstacles. Yeah. Oh, those always get me. Okay, so I have to jump over this. And then, oh, oh my god. No, you can't stupid. do that. You have to jump back. Yep. There's a bit of room. Back, back, oh, back, room. back. No. And back. Mm. I guess you're safe there. Yeah, I'm safe. safe Are you going edges. to the other side? Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. I remember this last time. <laughs> Another lock. Then you have to deal with it again. I know. I think you're different. safe in the middle, though. Yeah. Yes. Don't rush oh, into I'm levels. Up. I remember this. I remember this too. Yeah. That's no, harder. Never going rush down, into levels. I think. <laughs> Wait to see if something's gonna get sh shoot out shoot out at you too. Because yes. Something can damage you immediately. Yeah. You're like, there's nothing there, and then boom. <laughs> yep. Cool. This one is a little it's harder. It's all on the timing. Oof. Skulls. Spiky skulls. Are they skulls? Yeah, in the middle. Oh. Little two eyes. Oh, facing looking outward. out. Oh, on both sides. Gotcha. It's this. It's this. It's this. I can't do it. What is that? Oh. You haven't figured it out yet, I guess. Mm. Maybe it becomes something later. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Oh, another boss. What does this guy do? Oh, yeah. Do I have to hit him when he's red? I don't know. I Try. think I do. No. I don't know how you would do that. No, I think... Without dying. Yeah, you just hit him. So 
so good. He's hungry. Hungry for nights. Nice. Got him. And another heart for me. Remember, I have to go all the way back. Oh my god. Oh! All in timing's timing. a little bit more tricky on that one. Yeah. Looks deadly, but there's actually a long pause. Okay. Jump on it? No. Just touch it. What? It does look like you have to jump. Oh, I see. It blows away the wall. Gotcha. Terrifying. Oh, it's Pong time. <laughs> he loves putting Pong in his games. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a okay. treasure. As soon as we have to traverse, we'll... Okay, quit. fair enough, fair enough. James uh, knows this game pretty well. So, there is a chain that you need to get rid of. Get that. Step. Treasure! And I have a key, but it doesn't open the thing over here. You have to go back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Way back. Yep. Get something, and then go way back again to this. <laughs> Brutal. It's brutal. But it's so much fun. Yes. And we'll have to do a full, full, full playthrough of this Again, now that yeah. it's done. I don't, oh, is it done? Did we, did we finish this I game? I think so. I'll have to look. I think so. I think so. I think you did. Yeah, right to I the end. I could be wrong, but I thought you did. DHZ, do you remember? Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leap to my death. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Let's get roasted by the dragon. Hi! Let's <laughs> get okay, hit by the ping pong. Bye! Very game nice. over. Very Mary nice. Tyler Moore style yeah. game over. <laughs> okay, that is an awesome, fun, fun game. Mm. As Oh my god, the 7800 category is just filled with awesomeness. Mm -hmm. The next one is Slide Boy in Mainsland. Nice. Also by VHZC, VHZC Games. Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. Uh, I think he has nine or 12 nominations. Wow. Good this job. This year. <laughs> yeah, good job. Filled with goodness. Yes. Oh, my God. Um, I can't remember, though. Maybe VH said he can fill us in. Because I did send... Flat. Maybe I can look it up. Ready. I did add them up, I think. And I contacted him. So, Slide Boy in Maze Land. Normal, easy survivor. Um, normal i think that just has to do with the time next year best vhc game <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's own category yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly he's competing against himself uh let's see if I can... that would be stiff still be stiff competition <laughs> another fun game by VHC. That guy looks so stressed. The little guy with the two teeth. <laughs> Who's oh the guy you're controlling? The slide guy or he's super stressed. He's super stressed. It's uh it's a deadly world he lives in. Oh terrible timing. There. I don't remember how I do this. Fine. Twelve. Twelve nominations he got. Uh Two for Atari 2600 Homebrew Original. Two for Atari 2600 uh, Graphics Original. Two for Atari 2600 Music and Sound Original. One for Atari 2600 Work in Progress Original. Two for Atari 2600 Completed Original. And two, three... Oh, every time. These guys kill me every time. Three for Atari 7800 Work in Progress Original. Unbelievable. Oh, these? Yes. Oh, I, I cannot. I, I don't know what it is. My timing is so off with them. Uh, I see people get killed on those all the time. I can get past them, but I, I just, there's something about the movement and the timing. Clear. Beautiful graphics. Love the font. Mm -hmm. The colors are so nice.
I was kind of in the zone when I made this game. It took me a month or so. Wow. But now I don't totally remember the screens I made for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good because you can play it yourself and still be chatting. You're like, hey, I don't remember oh, this. This is a good screen. Let me through. Oh, no, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Oh, this one. This one is. Tough. I don't know what it is. You have to get them at a certain. Yeah, I think when they're it's on the up instead of the down. Tiny slice of time you can yeah. get through them. And that's the hardest part. Yeah, because this the is easy. The rest is easy because yeah. you have a lot more time. It's the middle. Getting through the middle. No! Oh, my no, God. You have to go down real fast on that Terrible. one. Terrible. Terrible. Loss of two lives. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I kind of like the spinning animation for Sly Boy. It's simple, but syncs well with his movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Spin, spin, spin. It's awesome. Kind of and like a shaded, 2D monkey ball. <laughs> he's shaded so well, too. Mm-hmm. Some things aren't apparent right away. It's like, no. oh, like, how do I get there? Use the walls. You have to mm -hmm. kind of work backwards a lot of the time. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. It does keep ringing. The phone keeps ringing. <laughs> Oof, it's close. It's fast level. Let's see how far I can make it. I've already wasted two lives. one no will be a good drinking game <laughs> what would what be is it something to, to do with these guys things I, I love say? these guys <laughs> oh, they look a little bit out of it i like their <laughs> eyeballs <laughs> silly eyeballs yeah they, That's they don't look menacing hard, yeah it is they move slower than you yeah. think and there's not much room they don't look menacing just kind of bothered by being there you know like oh, yeah we're just gonna Ugh. have to go back and forth for, for the rest of the day uh, now where do i do this oh i see so clever so many walls no oh, you did that when we played it before yes if I remember. You, forget. you forget that it goes past that and i know that's on purpose every time tanya dies playing exo take a drink yeah you get drunk pretty fast that's a fast <laughs> you die really fast, fast passing out type of game yeah <laughs> uh so that is a great game tons and tons of levels it gets really challenging mm -hmm. especially if you um play on the harder levels like the mm -hmm. um survivor I think that's, you don't get much time for it. Oh, you only get one life. You only get one life. And it's probably fast clock, too. Or is it the clock continuous? It's continuous clock. Mm. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Which is smart. Yeah, it's like you have to go fast. You get one life, and you have to go super fast. Nope. Come up here. Don't look at me like that. Come up here. Oh, and it's got S on the screen, so you know what um, type of game the person's playing. And I've lost time already. So much time wasted. Yeah, you have to kind of be an expert. Mm -hmm. Survivors, just to check how far you can get with that time. With that time, which I think is great. That's... Is it possible to win? I don't think it is. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. One life. One life. Okay, the next game Fine. is Wizard's Dungeon by Bido Empire. Nice. We know this one. We played this one quite a bit, too. Super fun. You should play hard mode. Are you not I believe there is. Um, yes. So, hard. Definitely. Wizard so, of War. Yeah, it's a Wizard of War in a maze. Um, so, you... Find upgrades. Um, you find the exit. You find gold. Um, you have to shoot that. Right? 
Oh, no. Can't remember. Ah! It's been a while since we played this. Some things take more shots, but as you upgrade your weapons, it gets easier to kill them. Oh, and that's where you respawn in the RIP, right? Uh, oh, yes. That's when you get killed and turn into a ghost. Oh, my gosh. You have to make your way back to it. Should it? Oh, no. Oh, no, you need a key. Ah! Ah, yes. You need a key for that. It's been a while. Oh my gosh, so you get a lot of higher level monsters right off the bat, I think. Yeah, there's a lot more on the screen when you're playing the hard level. Oh, goodness. Ivory Tower Collection says, these are all excellent games. I agree. These are excellent, excellent games. So we did finish this game on easy, I believe. I believe or normal? So. At least easy. It is a lot of fun upgrading... Um, your weapons, and you get to choose between your different weapons. Ah, but you, don't, ah, you only have one. Run weapon. away! <laughs> yeah, and some of the rooms with the gates, oh. you have to. I think they're faster too. The enemies, maybe. They are faster. They seem really fast compared. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe just more of them. Psst. No, no, no. Why? Why? Don't chew it. They're so fast. Huh? <laughs> they seem super fast. These are. Getting a dungeon installed sounds awesome, but the mold inspections are a real pain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's fun to have all these twisty, turny mazes and the, the bats and the rats, but ah, ah, stop it's it. quite a hazard. So there's your elf in the top left. Your weapons are in the bottom right. I haven't gotten any new weapons yet. No, I haven't found a weapon upgrade yet. No, not yet. Hey, hey, Catbutt. Hey, hey. What is he doing? Hey. Ah. It's going after the cable. Cable cat. He's trouble. He is just massive trouble. They probably hit you for more points I don't know. as well. I don't know. Points of damage. They're just more of them. Ah, I keep getting caught on corners too, which is really yeah. not helping me. You gotta watch it out for that in this game, especially on the tight awesome, tight alleyways. Right away. Oh, here's an upgrade to one of your weapons. And each weapon behaves a little differently as well. So it's the second button? Yeah, there you go. I think those bounce when they get right. when they get to a wall. So you have rebounds. Or yeah. you can shoot multiples at them. I don't know, they're pretty strong. Yeah. A lot stronger. They're yeah. wider, I think. I don't think they bounce. Yeah. Very nice animations. I love this style of game. Dungeon dungeon crawler. Mm hmm And there is a map. So you ready? Shows so you, you can where see you've where been. you've been and where you need to go. And it, I think it shows you the um, where some gravestones. things are. Yeah. The gravestones no, are. No, I don't think. Ah, yeah. get out of there. Yeah, it shows you where the gravestones Does are. Because you had two in a row. Oh, it shows you backwards if you've, if you've, if you've encountered them, yes. If you encounter them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's also maps you can pick up. Ooh, a snake. I know. Oh, he was um, there before. Was he? Um, maps so you can see the whole world. Mm. Um, so that'll help you find a way out. Oh, two buttons controls the map, so you can press both buttons. Nice. Yes. Nice. I think we may have suggested that because <laughs> that makes a couch compliant. Did we? Ah! Yeah. Because there wasn't a use for both buttons, so why not make that? The only thing that you need the, uh, it's so much better. Oh, there I am. Thank you, ITC, for reminding us of that. What? Throwback. No, the door... The, oh, I, some I of the doors didn't open. open. Oh, bug. Hmm. That was odd. Maybe they don't open. Were they open? Oh, I didn't mean to change that. Actually, things. I did. I did during testing because I didn't like to have to sit next to the console as I use map all the time. Ah, awesome. Oh my ah, god! Don't do that. Nope, they were right there. Oh, remember you have to go two. Yeah. And then it resets. It remembers the last... Look at these guys. Oh, they're all ganging up. Mean. Oh, oh this is... here's the exit. So we'll play till this. So we just go kind of close to that. And we wake up one of them. Don't wake up all of them. Yeah. So those are... They only wake up when those you get close bad. to them. So they're kind of guarding the stairs. Yeah. And you can't hurt them when they're stoned. You lucked out? Yeah, no kidding. It's a big map. Hi, kitty. Hi. Hi, little 
cat. Oh, happy cat. Bats. Come up here. Nobody can see you there. Was fun. You're in the no camera zone. Can they? They can see your tail. Your tail is cute. There should be four of them, but due to the block placement, you only got three. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I think one's trapped under the uh, One was in another room. Oh, he escaped. <laughs> yeah, it's good to get rid of the little minions before taking yeah, on the big they guys. Take, they, they will. Hi. Hi, sir. Okay, we'll s just, just go. Just go for it, yeah. You're not playing a full game. Exploration bonus, Whoa, not very much. Oh, cat butt. Do you want some cat butt? Here's some cat butt for yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> the maps are random, if I remember correctly. Anyway, you can't go back, can you? I can't go up a level. No, no, no. Okay, I'm just gonna die. We'll, we'll... Okay. I'm gonna die. You'll see... Cat says, game over. Oh, find the gravestone. You don't know where it is. You probably won't find it. And you can go through walls, which is cool. Nope. And it counts down. It counts down. Oh, no. I want that. Give me that. <laughs> well, remember where it is. If you find a gravestone. Oh, no. go down. This is a cool, cool mechanic. Yes. Where you can revive yourself. If you find a gravestone in time. So if you're about to Two, die. Oh, you one. just oh. made it. <laughs> one second left. Wow. Uh, this is the only game Bido Empire has made, as far as I know. Cats do not respect the gamers. Have something no. important to do. No. Yeah. No. So th right no. out of the gate, Bido Empire made an incredible, incredible game. Awesome. Um, okay. Oh, it did show my path. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you did go through there. That was lucky. So we're gonna move on to Atari, the cat. No. Atari, Atari 7800 best homebrew port. So these are games you know. They know. <laughs> yes, they know we're doing something important, so they come to disrupt. They're instruments of chaos, cats. Instruments of chaos. Atari Fox Plus. A Muddy Vision reproduction. Very nice. All right. So this is 2048 uh, by Muddy Vision slash Lewis Hill. Are you gonna play it? No. Got a cat. <laughs> so you match up the twos to make a four. You match up the fours to make an eight. So if you go, okay, slow it down for a second. S slow, stop, 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 stop. We have to show them. See those twos on the left? Mm -hmm. If you press up, everything will shift up and the two twos make a four. If you shift left, the two fours make an eight. So remember, up, left, up, left, up, left, up, left, up, left. Or if you want to start doing down, right, down, right, down, right, stay doing down and right. Because otherwise, mm -hmm. you won't get big scores. How old is Atari? He is, what, five? Five now? or six? Let me check. How old are you? He's like, don't you remember? <laughs> you got me. You're the guys who keep track of that kind of thing. Let's see how old this little in console years. Uh, one era of consoles. <laughs> one console era. Yeah. One generation of consoles. Atari. Let's see. What does the calendar say? So, Atari's birthday just happened mm -hmm. too long ago. Uh, November 15th, uh, 2021. And he was six. <gasps> So he's six years old. So that would be like one generation of consoles, <laughs> one, and, one and a half mm -hmm. about, because they come out every about four years, mm -hmm. four or five years, depending. Happy belated birthday, Atari mm -hmm. Cat. Oh, we'll have to have a birthday s celebration next November for you on stream. I don't think we ever did that. No. For the kitties. No. We're bad parents. We, we are. apologize. Terrible cat parents. Terrible cat parents. Well, it got up to 128. Mm hmm. Oh, why are you going up, down, and. No, you don't go opposite. Now you've got a 128 in the middle of nowhere. 16 uh, block. It's reshifting. It's reshifted. No. Yeah, it does. Has Steve beaten this one yet? <laughs> probably. Uh, probably. <laughs> I. It, 
Is there anything Steve doesn't beat? No, he is the master of pretty much every game. I think there was one game he posted about that he's like, I'm not very good at this. And I can't remember what game it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. One twenty-eight is the best I've gotten on this. What? What? There is a pattern, and it's it's down and right, down and right, down and right, down and right, down and right. Really? Yes, it is. That's pathetic. And then, every once in a while, you don't have a move, so you have to go left. And then you go back to down and right, down and right, mm. down and right, down and right. That's mostly. Uh, 24, 2048 does support save key. EXO does too for game saving as well as AV speech. Mm. So I do have um, the save key Atari Vox plugged in. So we'll save your high score here. Nice. Oh, look at this mess. I like messes. <laughs> messes creates opportunity. That's right? correct. Will there be a 7800 version of Wordle? Oh my God, the thing that infects Facebook. All I see is Wordle. And I don't understand what those dots mean, and I don't care to. What? What? Wordle? Wordle! Everybody's posting their Wordle scores. It's oh, the newest trend. I'm sure it'll disappear it? in about a week or so. Yeah, and probably. Everybody will be sick of seeing people's Wordle scores. <laughs> but I do like word games. Those are fun. We're trying to you know, use yeah. letters to make words and a certain length. Mm. Okay, we can't spend too long in this. Why not? It's a puzzle game. <laughs> People just like tune right <laughs> out. They're Here, like, you're doing right. it all wrong. Yay, okay, now you die. <laughs> doing it all wrong. Just so you can get your high score. Oh, come on. You ruined it. You ruined it. Actually, I don't think this lets you die. Does it? It just stops? I think it just stops. You can't move. You go or around it in does, a circle. Or maybe it senses that you can't make another move. Mm. Oh, I'm doing too well. <laughs> there Game we go. Over. I enhanced your score a little bit, but not by much. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then you go there. Oh, you can put your name in. Can I? Yeah. Be hilarious if James had beaten it by just by messing around. Yeah. That would be good. It's like, no, I keep oh I keep matching yeah. it. Oh, how do 512. I keep winning this game and everyone out ah, there is like what? 1024. Ah, stop it. <laughs> I mean it's possible. Tob. Toy. Taz. Ta Tio Heart. Yay. Tob. Tob. Okay. That's how I play fighting games. I my my Me fighting too. game is like mash 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 mash. Press all the buttons. Yeah. Did I hit them? Uh, find the yep. kick. Find the low kick. Yeah. Spam the low kick. Uh, the next game is Dragon's Descent. Oh. Port by Todd Fermansky. Reventuli. Who loves dragons? <laughs> all his games are dragons. Dragon based Ready. games. Oh. My turn. Mm -hmm. oh, this one is, this is a good one. Low. So this is another. I love that dragon. The mazy game. The wings going on it. Oh, look at that! Some Tobs have played this. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, what? What? nice. What? what do you say? Dragon's descent. Ah, very, very low nice. voice. So it's uh, infinite maze, random. Let's do a random maze. Sounds good. Get the music. Yeah. Okay, random maze. Yellow light and some fire in the yellow wind. <laughs> <laughs> Start. There's a random seed. So this has momentum. I think this is the one where you can't hit the walls. Oh yeah, I remember this now. On hard mode. So you shoot things, they do come back. And you they can't can touch the walls either? Can't or? touch the walls, can't touch the enemies. And there's lots of different enemies that have different movement patterns. Those are so cool. Yeah. They're very creepy. And there's like a triceratops. Angry eye. Angry pink flaming eye. The pink, eye. Eye. The pink eye. eye. Okay, so that uh, heart you increases your um, health. Health. Maximum health. And the oh, and that just is a health. 
that is a that was a bonus. So mm. you can either get score you can get bonus. or yeah. defense. Yeah, you can only point. shoot side to side, right? You can't shoot yes. up and down. I remember that. So I can't that shoot up. That makes it up. a bit awkward, yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh. Revan Tuli. You can touch the walls if you aren't in hard mode. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Don't forget, I posted the maps to the first three levels on the forum threads. So if you don't do random like I just did, yes. <laughs> you can uh, have Chuck a Chuck Norris can touch the walls on hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> he can. Sadly, I'm not Chuck Norris. Ah! Ram me. He did ram you. Let's see if I can find the exit. I don't have a key yeah, yet. Yeah, find that key. Oh my god. Get that key. I don't know if you can run into the enemies after you've shot them oh when they're. When Are you hitting the walls? Yeah, I'm allowed to. Oh, okay, you're allowed to. Revan Dooley says I'm allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead end. There's no time on it? Oh, there is a... Yes, there is. It gets dark. And then the big bad dragon comes after you, and then it's... Game, oh, yeah. Game over. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, no. And he's he's invisible in the dark. Oh, God. Oh, another dead end. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I can't... See. Oh, yeah, I, I shoot. I can see him. Ah! Uh, he's invincible? I can't remember. Yeah, I think so. I think you just have to run. Oh god. Dodge Over him. Here. Dodge him. Oh, he's Dodge not him. too fast. He's, he's not, not too, too fast. Bad. Should go up? Oh, I, I swear I went all the way up and all the way to the left. But it could be in any room, like if I missed a room. Like if you're not shooting, you can't even see him up here. Can you kill him? No. no. I'm pretty sure he can't. And he just keeps coming for you. Ah. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard sometimes. Oh, Ramatuli, there is a way to defeat the shadow, but it's a secret. Oh. Ooh, that mm. sounds like a challenge. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was a short game. You can you can mm. play it. More games should have intermittent darkness. I don't mind intermittent darkness. Constant darkness and mazes. Infinite maze. Oh, so you just keep going and going and going? You'll never find the key, though. There'd be no key and there'd be no exit on infinite maze. Right? Oh, oh, oh. 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 No. I think you're full anyway. Ah, he moves really What does the infinite fast. maze mean again? Darkness plus shadow equals soft time limit. Yes. I do like that kind of hurry up aspect of the uh, the gray dragon coming to get you. Mm. Didn't want people farming points. That'd be boring for everyone. Yeah. True. You... Uh -huh. Look at that! Uh -huh. Infinite maze means, oh, it just keeps going and going like forever and ever. There's no uh -huh. end to the game. Uh -huh. Not infinite maze as this is an infinite maze. I like the roguelike feel to this one. Yes, so do I do. So do I. Especially the randomization of mazes that you can put in. You don't have to kill him. No, I want to. Sometimes you want to kill him. He needs to die. I guess. <laughs> the eye, the pink eye needs to die. Yep. Put him out of his misery. It's itchy. Is pink eye itchy? Ah. Yes. Oh, okay. Then put him out of his misery. No, no good. Man plus says it in Wretched Darkness. <laughs> nice. I don't know where I haven't, haven't been. I haven't really been paying attention. I try and do like upper left and then go Smart. across the top and then down. And that gives a good... And then you try and get the middle, I guess. Because then at least you've kind of mapped out where you've been. You know, you're maxed out. That's why you get that extra bonus heart. So you can get up to four hearts. I love the Ceratops enemy sprite, really cool. Yeah, the opening mouth is super awesome. I mean, it's very effective at even just two frames of animation. You did it. Didn't get the bonus, but you made what it. What bonus? Uh, where you upgrade your hearts. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh run. he, he, he oh, responds. I one. forgot about him. Teleporting cat. It looks more like a cat in the 2600 version ah, of this. Ah. There is a 2600 version. Ah, Whoa! Move. Stop getting caught on walls! Now you can get a heart. Yay, now you're full again. Eight enemies, three bosses, thousands of possible levels. That should be the tagline <laughs> yeah. for the game. 
Oh, you got the key again! I'm I'm flying through dragons. things. I'm flying through. Yeah, I love that. Uh, that screen looks so good. Run, oh. and it appears over top. On top of you, yeah. Of where you are, so you can't stall on on those levels. Kicking ass! What? <laughs> I was talking. Plus, it's hard to understand. Over here. Spinning faces. Don't dawdle. Ah, you should. Whoa! They now we're back. going downstairs. Ah. Oh, it's the cat. No! Run! No, when you get caught on the walls, it's like terrible. Oh, wait, wait. That oh, was a good choice. Anyway. I always pick the heart. I always end up with the heart. I always go heart first and then power up after. That's what it is. It's the fire power. If you get the fire. Your doom is near. Ah, thank you, Revan Tooley. That's awesome. You know what? The, one of the best things about this show is having the developers in the chat. I know. I think it's so fun it and amazing. so cool. Is that they can be here and talk about their games and answer questions and give us hints <laughs> about how to play. Ooh, the key again? Oh my god. Kicking ass. <laughs> it's also nice to have a dragon to be the oh, protagonist. Uh, ooh, so ah, often it's stuck. they're portrayed by as ah, the villain. Stuck. It's very true. Look at those triceratops. I know, they look so good. <gasps> so good. Very, uh effective use of the background. Quite the colors, green and purple. So you've got the key, you've got four hearts. Oh, the oh. boss! Oh, okay. Well, you just gotta do it. Ah, oh what? my god. What is going Run. on? What is going on? Shoot, 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 move. Ah, no, don't die! Don't I die can't in die. the boss! I can't die! Ah! <laughs> oh. Panic! Panic! Anyway, that was fun. 107 out of a possible 999,999. Fair enough. Trackballs exhaust me, yeah. <laughs> Trackballs are exhausting. <laughs> Just thought of another good drinking game. Every time Tanya panics. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> so, super fun game. That's just the mid -boss. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. <laughs> we played, we went pretty far when we played this game, though. We did okay. I remember it's, getting... It gets challenging. It I does. remember getting through multiple bosses. We got through multiple levels, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure we got past the mid-boss. Oh, yeah, that guy. And then for sure. maybe, to, I don't know. Second or third boss. He said, don't die. Said, yeah, don't thanks, die. Carl. <laughs> yeah. Helpful. Oh, helpful hints from Carl. Yeah. Next one. Is Galaxian ready by Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus, who is in the chat as well. Pro tip: Don't die. I'm gonna run. I'll be. Oh, so we yeah. can't play two players. Oh, no, just do okay. one. Do yeah. one. Yep. Normal, easy, hard. Do normal. Extra lives? No, not this time. Rapid fire. I think I like rapid fire on. So, probably everybody uh, recognizes this game. Yeah, rapid fire. I don't want to keep pressing the button. Oh my god, terrible. Terrible. I was watching the top. I'm not watching the dive bombers. So... I believe you get extra points for dive bombing enemies as opposed to shooting them in formation. I always thought this game was looked really easy until I played it, and it's not easy. There's a lot of bullets and a lot of enemies coming down. I'm doing terrible. Oh, that's the edge of the screen. Another excellent, excellent conversion by Pac-Man Plus. Ooh. And then they get really hard because they start diving very horizontally and just kind of sweep the whole screen. Which is just... Oh, I'm gonna die. TIA sound. Oh my god. Yeah, such good sound. Actually... I don't know if it's two players, one joystick, or two players, two joysticks. Because I have... Oh, what are you doing, cat? He's crazy. I'm going to go on easy. Five, He's crazy. Five, five lives. So we can actually finish. Oh, nice, yes. 
and the volume of bullets they fire at you now. Yeah, tons. Back in NTD, I never quite mastered shooting the three dive bombers in the right order for max scoring. Oh, Jesus. It's always hard. Or having in, even enough time to shoot all of them. South, it's like so much going on here. It's quite depressing. It is. It's just beautiful colors and the, the graphics. The TIA sound. Like, oh, did we get all three? Yes! Is that the right maximum way to kill them all? I think it is. Shoot the minions and then shoot Or do the you boss. shoot the big one? Or you can't in this one. Yep. Oh, that's good. That's very nice. good. Yeah, I'm continually impressed with what people are able to do with the TIA. Um, I can really push that sound chip mm. further than I, I'm sure the uh, creators ever thought possible. I mean, obviously by listening to the sounds made by the chip in the early days. Cat's crazy. Chaos Cat is here. <laughs> He's out of control again. Chaos Cat is here. One bad. more! Come on! He just gets so excited now. He does. It's it? like we start the stream and he's just like, Dreads! He's running around, tearing Crazy around the room. Crazy cat time. Crazy cat time. He just gets so excited. Because he knows there's a possibility of treats under the water. Yeah. That's all he needs is the possibility. Just the <laughs> the subtle hint that treats could be playing. He gets very excited. Oh, there's three again. 800. Is that the max points? Yes. Oh, for hitting three? Yeah, for doing them in a specific order. So, of this range of games, Galaga, Galaxian, yes. is Galaga your favorite? Is there a specific one that you like? I, I do love Galaga because yeah. it's just... The controls are really nice. Yeah. Um, the enemy variety is really good. Um, this is very close to Galaga. You just don't get Galaxian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Galaxian. You don't get bonus level levels. You don't no. get. Yeah. Yeah, the bonus levels add a lot. Yeah. Um, I have to see a list of other games in this genre. Genre of falling bug uh, spaceships. Yeah. There are some other really good ones. Too. Yeah. Because I don't I don't see, like, um, Space Invaders as being exactly the same. Like, it, the movements, these are falling down. But they're, yeah, predecessor. It is a predecessor to this one. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, that one, they just don't come down. Do you think this is the precursor to bullet hell games? It's just that they oh. turned it on its side. Like, it's essentially the same thing. You're just oh, dodging. Yeah. Well, some do, but a yeah. lot, a lot go go it to right. Depends. But I guess that's true. I think home, but this... home ones do because of how wide the screen is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they are definitely a predecessor. Mm. Yeah. So you only get three hundred if you shoot the, the guy. Mm. On on its own. On its own. Mm. Yeah. Eight hundred when you shoot. Amazing the work. Correct. So nice. It is. This is Pac-Man Plus's game. Yes. Good job, Pac-Man. Yes. Pac-Man Plus. And he did this one uh, completely on his own. He did all the sounds, I believe. I think the notes just say his name. So great. Great job. Unless I'm missing credits. Diagonal shoots of the enemy in this game are quite unpredictable. Too hard for a novice. Can you shoot diagonally? No, I think the enemy shots. Oh. Enemy, where they slide to the side like that. Yeah. Much easier on all this. Oh my god, that one. Oh my god. Come on. Oh god. They slide towards you a little. They're shots. Oh, they kind of go a little diagonal. Mm. Oh, like tracking, almost tracking towards you a little. Woo. There you go. Nice. And another 800 points. I'm on easy. I did give myself five points, but I haven't died in a while. Mm -hmm. so that's something. I still have three left. Namco made some fun games. Couple points. Oh, yes. Namco games are good. Seem to have, like, a Namco collection for every platform. 
PS3 and Wii and they keep releasing them because all their games are so good. Ah! Brevin Tilly says there's a blog called Retro Game Deconstruction Zone that gives an excellent breakdown of, among other things, space shooters of this era. Oh. I, I love, I love, I don't know, if I just like things categorized and like, <laughs> Lists. and listed and, and, Details and, and, yeah, like, years I love, and dates and... I love, like, there's some really good music documentaries about the evolution of music and, like, bands and how they change we were watching one about punk music the other day yes and, and how it evolved from music from rockabilly and yeah it's, it's kind of fascinating and when you when you when you hear about it it, it makes sense you know like you see the, the progression yeah yeah like, and, oh, and the that, seeds of music yeah because in the punk one we saw okay that's where the music kind of evolved that's where the attitude, the attitude evolved. evolved that's where the vocals evolved right there yeah but like games as well, you can see the seeds of other games and games that came before it. And I just yep. love Space Invaders yeah. to Galaxian to. Uh, it's like the evolution of ideas, you know, and where people's it's ideas like, oh, come from. Oh, we can make them do this. Oh, yeah. we can make them do this. Yeah. I love that stuff. It also, is very good uh, documentary on metal. The, what is it? We were talking about uh, that the other day. The evolution of. I can never remember the name. I of know it. there was one that was like global metal, but anyway. Yeah, it's global metal, and then it goes on to another yeah uh, documentary about but it. But that, that stuff is always fun. Oh, Phoenix! I like Phoenix a lot too. Phoenix. Mm. Um. Okay, the next game is Popeye seventy eight hundred. Sorry. Popeye. Ready. Okay, this, here comes Popeye. I love the twists on AtariAge.com. <laughs> Title screens each of these games do. Yeah. Um, so this is made by 20th Street Arcade, Daryl Genther, uh, Daryl 1970, Programming and Graphics, Bobby Clark, Synth Papalooza, uh, Matt Smith, Pat Brady, and Trebor for Music, Mike Sarna, Matt Smith, Paul Lay, Perry Twente, Programming Consultants, Marco Sabetta, Additional Graphics, Atari Boy, Packaging Artwork. And this is such a good port of Popeye. All these games are so good. I keep saying that. <laughs> this is such a good game. Such a good game. Of course they are. Um, I played Popeye a lot on my C64, so I have a lot of practice before. Oh, good job. Terrible. This one has great level design, um, great music and sounds. The layout is incredible. <laughs> Smash those bottles. Pac-Man Plus says, I've been following this. This port is amazing. Oh. We kind of need Satan's Hollow in the 7800. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> give. <laughs> give. Oh, that is my... That's our number one, I think, game that we want ported to the 7800. Or 2600. Either way. Um, that'd be awesome. Either way. I think 7800, of course, would be able to do uh, oh, gosh. a very faithful port, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, and 2600 would be really fun to see somebody take on that challenge, right? Oh. Never played Zane Solo, Pac-Man Plus. Oh my god. I played to. that so much on my Commodore 64 when I was young. <laughs> uh, so did I. I have the top score at the local arcade for Satan's Hollow. I believe I'm, I'm on the, the board for that too. Yeah. Yeah. Love I'll it. put in your name. Oh. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah. It's going to permanently record it. Do it. Hi. So, two players, two sticks, one player. So we're stuck on arcade, I think. Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Bob, you have to remedy that. <laughs> yes. yes. Go play it. Love it. Get addicted to it. And then make it. <laughs> I bought the 5200 Please. Satan's Hollow conversion from Atari Age. I like it a lot. So did I. Mm. I have 
that on cartridge. Mm. I'll have to play that. Or did I get the 5200 version? Or do I have both? I can't remember. I'll have to play that again. It's okay. Um, it's, it's not, it's not the best it can be, I think. Um, but it's fine. It's playable. Get him, get him. You're in trouble. Nice. Come on. Come on back. Ah! That's not There we go. Let's get that heart. C64 version was quite good. Quite decent. Had all the levels. Graphics were fine. Music that's, was very good. That's the version I played. I, I think I didn't even... I never played in the arcade, so that's the Get version that I cat. Know. He's right beside you. What are you doing? He's sniffing out cables. He's... Stop. Oh. Oh, don't complain. Poor Whiner. oppressed cat. I can't chew cables. Yeah, I... I ring bells and they give me treats all day long. It's the worst life <laughs> it's ever. It's the worst life. I'm oppressed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he's purring. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <sighs> Damn it. BH said, see, Pape is one of those games that I like, but I suck at it. It's not an easy it's, game. No, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah, Each level you have to, you have to do very differently. Keep track of everything and not get hit by flying bottles and run away from this big bully who keeps chasing you around. Yeah. Oh, there's a heart. There's a note. Ah, uh, it's gonna... Uh, Spinach. Let's remedy that. Let's go get those notes. Or should we get punch that guy? Oh, like Bluto. Or Brutus. I can't remember in this game what you, which, which one, one he is. Which one he is, yeah. And done. Yay. Just in time. I'm not awesome at this game. I'm okay. <laughs> Brutusk. <laughs> Stay right up here. Poor vulture. Keep punching it in the nose. Well, he's, he'd bite me if he had a chance. Chance. Bite me. Oh no, I've messed it up. They don't let you uh, punch the old woman though, who keeps throwing bottles at you. Oh, ha ha! Got him. The wrong way. Ah, E, come here. <laughs> no, 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 L. There we go. No, 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 no! Oh, you jumped on his I head! I didn't mean to go off that ledge. I was oh, trying to just no. avoid the vulture by just a tiny bit. Oh, oh the demo was over. Good. <laughs> good game. Yes. Good game. Actually, I don't know if I should record my high score because this is just the demo version. Oh, gee, it holds up better than the cartoon, though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's been a long time since yeah. I've seen the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. Everything about it is very faithfully reproduced. Mm -hmm. Porting the graphics of a Golden Age game might be simple, but porting the game logic could be impossible if you haven't played it enough or yeah. have a look into the original code. That's what I'm always astounded by. Yeah. By the developers, because the there's not so just good. like three levels. Yeah. There are like sometimes hundreds of levels. They have to know how the game plays mm -hmm. all the way up to like level 76, you know? How does the how do the creatures speed up? How is there a certain pattern on level the 76 that's, yeah, yeah. that's different than level 45 that's or whatever? Crazy. Yeah. Um, so they either have to like watch a recording of a full, full, full mm -hmm. playthrough and mm -hmm. just kind of, most of them just kind of get it close. Like it's, close it's got enough. the, it's got yeah. everything. It's got the right feel. Mm -hmm. um, but some go hardcore and go right for like original code and make it replicate it perfectly. 5200 didn't have the skulls. Uh. 2600 version is it's okay. It's it's pretty decent for 2600. Uh, mm. For Popeye. Okay, so Next. last game of the day is. Mm. 
<laughs> Uniwars by Bob Ready. De Crescenzo. Ooh. Another classic shooter. Uh, Pac-Man Plus, who is in the chat? Yay! Go for it. I was jealous of Popeye and my friend C64. It was good. It was good on C64. Going for defaults. <laughs> Shoot, shoot the things! Another space shooter. I'm so happy that um, Bob is taking on all these space shooters. They're so much fun. He's finished all his Pac-Mans. <laughs> He's finished the full breadth of Pac-Mans for the 7800. I think there's like a couple more, but they're like weird Pac-Man games. I don't think he's very interested in them. I can't remember, <laughs> can't remember which ones people keep going, oh, you might as well do all of them. This is the one that maybe do Galaxian. Oh, okay. So it's like, well, it's pretty much Galaxian. There's a ship at the bottom. There's things at the top. You shoot. They come down. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah. This thing's... Ah! 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 They don't dive bomb you. No, but they shoot at you. They get, yeah. So it's kind of like the like the first level is Galaxian, except extended out. Is this the one where things come come at you from the bottom too, or is that another game? Where they poke up yeah. at you? Yeah. They they like Maybe. try to shoot you with sticks. Yeah, poke you with oh, sticks. Oh come on! Why is one so hard? <laughs> because when there's multiples, you accidentally shoot other ones. <gasps> Cute. They are pretty awesome. Oh, there they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are the little pokey you, you stick need guys. To, you need to shoot them before she they come down. She almost ran into it. I know. Careful. I know. Careful. They're pokey. I know they're pokey. There's one game that, oh, I think I already listed it in my most wanted list. I should go over that, actually. Well, they, well I have all the eyes of the developers. <laughs> As your page. Remember wish list. So my homer wish list, 1942, which a 2600 version is being made right now, and it's actually a very good, very, very good version. These guys are so tough. Oh my God, they're so tough. Uh, Bomb Jack, which is such a funny game. Um, there's been one person who tried to do it on the 2600. They got pretty far, but it was just like a demo and you couldn't do much. There's only one level. Bubble Bobble. That would be so much fun. I. It would be almost literally impossible on the 2600. Mm. Unless you made the play field, the bubbles somehow. Oh. I don't even know how you do that. And also have the play field as the play field, too. Um... Phaser Cat Game says, I'm kind of shocked that nobody's done 7800 Bubble Bobble yet. Yeah. Um, me too, but also no, because if you've looked at Bubble Bobble and how many bubbles are on the screen, mm. they fill the That's screen. That's true. That's true. Um, 7800 can do a lot of items on the screen, but there's a lot of bubbles. Mm. Like, so many bubbles. Uh, Gyrus. Oh my god. Gyrus for the 7800. Utilizing dual pokey and the YM chip and TIA to have that full um, music. Um, it's a classical piece. Oh, it's so good. The arcade uses, I think, eight YM chips. It's it's crazy. Oh yeah, you can change lives. Cata and Fugue. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I love that song. Mm -hmm. uh, the C64 is does a, such a good rendition of that song. Uh, yeah, what game plays it at the beginning? Uh, I, I have, I have, Jairus. I have a. That's what I'm talking about. No, no, no. There's another game. Ah, ah. On the C64, not Gyrus. Really? Yes. Positive. A lot of them use like uh, Maniac Mansion or one of those. Oh, classical music because it's yeah. free. One of those mystery games, yeah. Oh, I, I like Jairus a lot, but not the NES version. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. The, the 2600 version is actually very good. 
there's not really much reason to redo the 2600 version This of giant. spinning out and flying away... Ah! ...is just so chaotic. It's so it cool. Is. It's like... It's so it, fast. It makes you kind of panic almost. Because usually they go after you. Not hard. I can't remember really what's normal or easy. Uh, these bugs remind me of. Go! You gotta kill them. Oh, kill right. them before they come down. Yeah, but they just. It's hard. You have to be under. Ah. You have to be under them. Yeah. yeah. I forgot, and I was like, oh no, they all came down really fast. Oh, what is that? I don't know. Ah, he's a guy with a hat. Oh my oh, god. Oh no. Well, you didn't come in your game. Yeah, I did. Oh Multiple my god. Times. Oh, ah. what? Glitchy. No, he came down. He came down out of nothing. Yeah. Hey, that was oh, no. Can you around. shoot him? Yeah, oh, there got we him. Go. Yeah, that's he kills oh, them. Oh, he kills oh, them. Well. Nice. I so they, until three that. come back, and then because the max I think is three. Oh, the bugs remind me of. Damn it! It's not on my list. It's not on my list. No, it's not on my list. It's crazy. I need to add it. Ah. I thought I shot him. I mean, realistically, they shouldn't survive the fall. <laughs> but in games space. aren't known for being realistic, so... No, no. It's because they're so hard, you have to get them in between the little tiny holes in their shields. Oh. So you just have to hammer at them until they spin the right way. There's no auto-fire no auto either. <laughs> Past this level? Uh, no, I, I mean I have in the past, but not not in my not in my. Oh, uh, the pokey guys! I, I gotta know. stay to the left. Come on over! Come on over! Oh, oh, yes! Clear them out! Yes, guy. Oh, Can you see that? I know. Sometimes you they get lost in the cascade of stars in the background. I think it's Horizon, but it was renamed. Horizon. For the home systems. No, that's not it. It's a cool game. It's treat time. It's treat time, yeah. it's treat time kittens. Ooh, thank you, Just Render in time. Ghost. So that is the last of the games. Are we going to let him wig out? Wig out on uh, catnip? Sure. Do you want catnip or do you want treats? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> give me what Something? you got. Something? What do you have? Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Oh, okay. Let's put it on a zero-page coaster. You want this? You want this? You can put them both in front of him. He can choose. A treat? No, no, because then he needs the bell. So next episode, we're going to go over the Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrews. Uh, original and ports. Food or drugs, Tari? Decide. <laughs> both. Go. He wants both. <laughs> He wants the Who bell. said food or drugs? <laughs> food or drugs. Food or I, drugs. Ivory Tower collections. Uh, <laughs> so here is my most wanted list. Oh, he's he's munching away down there. Yeah. He is. Oh. Choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. 1942 or 1943. Uh, Bomb Jack. Kittens? He's like, where are the treats? <laughs> Oh, he does want treats. Do you want treats too? We'll get. We'll give you a, a, some treats. Well, it's the end of this show, so it he is. can get both. He can. He can. He um, can have a couple. Bubble bobble, gyrus, horizon, which I just encountered and I thought it was super cool. Cat, you are a fun cat. There you go. Oh. Which you go on three different tracks. A <laughs> bellhop outfit. Yeah, little little. And there's, with a there's like things above you. Oh, wow. And there's things that are on your tracks too, but you can switch tracks. Oh, you're jumping. Oh, you're jumping from wow. track to track. Sometimes there's things on the track that you have to get out of the way of because That's you can't. Cool. And this can be done on the 2600. Oh, see, there's a wall. So you have to go through the middle one. Gotcha. It's so cool. I've never seen this in the arcade. It's kind of like Moon Patrol. Yeah. So that's uh, Horizon. Uh, Satan's mm. Hollow, of course, 2600 or 7800. 
Snow Brothers, which would be awesome, which is very much like Bubble Bobble. Uh, Timber. Oh, I like that. That's good. If you've never seen this, most people. We don't, we don't our one. arcade has this. Never yes. never seen this game before. It's really fun. So, it's a two player game, and you chop down trees. And you get out of the way of the tree because it falls on you. This guy seems to be replicating both of his joysticks in one. Come on, chop it! What's happening? There you go. Then there's bears that come out. Let's jump out a bit. There's also um, a log roll. It's almost like a bonus level, I think. You, do it you is. die? You don't die. Uh, yeah, you can fall. You don't die, but you can fall in the water because it's one versus one. Yeah. But he's playing both joysticks at the same time, so either both die is or Is that don't. Mario? <laughs> kind of looks like it. See, there's lots of trees, and you trip on the trees. So you yeah. have to kind of watch. Run around them. And the bears throw bees. And you have a time limit to chop down number of trees, two left. And it's combined. Mm. Sequel to Tapper. Yes, it's the Tapper dude. Is for it? Sure. Uh, yes. Ah, gotcha. So that's the game. That's yeah. such a cool game. And then you get uh, berated by the boss if you lose, or the guy yep. who loses. Uh, Two Ton Calm. Yeah. Uh, proof of concept. Uh, it's being worked on by Champ Games. Um, it's super cool game. And go through the maze. Get cool no. stuff. No, no, you don't play the bullets. Even when you're high. Not allowed. You shoot them. Kind of a weird game, but it's cool. Um, Gateway to Apshai. Um, that's from a console computer. Atari, C64, ColecoVision. Mm. That might be able to be made on the 2600, but most likely 7800. Straight up. I cannot remember what that is. Oh, yes. This is super cool. So oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Are you, your vegetables? It's, it's very much like other games that have been made for the 2600. Mm. Your vegetables, but there's spiky platforms that you can't go on. Oh, and the onion wins. Oh, that's funny. But it's you just can have four players. Really? So it can be used with the Quadtari, oh, right? Oh, cool. So you can have four little little dudes jumping around. Don't oh, jump on the spikes. Tomato wins. Yeah. Oh, that's no, a cute I don't know game. if they show four players playing. So this is fall up instead of fall down. Yes, it's mm. fall up. <laughs> So these are just my, you know, most wanted games. And every time I come across a new cool game, that yeah. it's like, oh, I've never heard about that, that would be in really the arcade. Cool. Yeah. That'd be cool to be ported. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking anyone to do these because it's very bad etiquette yeah. to ask people to make games. <laughs> but I'm just maintaining a list for my own sake. And, you know, well, um, cause I, if people are looking for ideas, you not. know, developers are never looking. No, for you ideas. don't think so. Because they've they already have a list of games they want to make. Usually, well, that's true. Right? That's true. And yeah. or but but if you're like me, you start a lot of things you never finish, and you get yeah. tired of it, and go, let's start something new. True. So let's let's start on Satan's Hollow. Oh, the cat's all high. The cat's all high. Yeah. Um. So what is coming <laughs> up on Aww. the show? Uh, let me bring it up while the cat rolls around. You mean like my, my video, video game, game backlog? backlog. Yep. Yeah. That's what happens. I have a huge backlog hey, as well. Hey, you made me program w uh, Invader port as a 10-liner. <laughs> True. I did play Invader on the show. Yeah. And Vitoka went. Oh. That's pretty cool. That could be done in 10 lines <laughs> okay. somehow. He's magic. Yeah. How he can make these games in 10 lines. I just still don't understand. <laughs> um, and it's all, like really good. It's not magic. It's of, all skill. It is skill. All skill. Um, so the next show, we're doing uh, Atari 7800 completed. Oh, that's uh, that's today. <laughs> uh, part five, Atari 7800 work in progress original. Atari 7800 work in progress ports. Mm -hmm. And then we are moving on to the last day of the nominee playthrough. Which is part six, Atari 8-bit, 5200, plus links and the packaging. Mm. And then we'll have played all the games. Ahead of the Homebrew Awards. Just ahead of the Homebrew Awards. Nice. And just ahead of the end of voting, too. Oh, good. Because next Sunday is the end of... This Sunday, sorry. This Sunday is the end of voting. Yeah. 
So make sure you vote right now. Yeah. If you have not voted, at least in the games we played today, because now you've seen them all. Mm -hmm. Where is my... There it is. It said Darcy week. Darcy's coming. On the Friday. On Friday. Is he? Let's see. You can always it tell. It says you put you put noon. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. So that's a Darcy day. Yeah. And that's us on the Sunday. Yeah. And then Darcy will be back for the Homebrew Awards. For the Homebrew Awards that is on the following Saturday, on the twelfth, on the 12th, Excellent. February twelfth. Excellent. Um, and then on when we then we have a short break and then we return on March fourth, which I have to update this because I was just contacted by somebody. With a very exciting brand new homebrew that we'll have the exclusive world premiere of. And it's an awesome game. It mm. is super awesome. He just contacted me today. So that might be updated. Oh, don't click on 1942. Oh my God. Stop it. There we go. Um, yeah. So this might be shuffled around a bit. Um, it might add in that game. And, uh, yeah, so that's one. Yeah, but there's a map of Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> Game, yeah. I don't think I did dox myself there. No. You might have. I might have. Let's see if I did. No. No, I didn't. Good try. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just a map of Vancouver area. But you, you, it could have doxed myself. You could have. It could, <laughs> could have, had, have. A, had a little ding. Little pointers, yep. but it would still be so... Vague. So vague that, yeah. yeah. Uh, I need to get back working on Dragon's Havoc. Wonderful games, everyone. Mm. Great to see uh, see and talk to you all. Yes, thank you for thank dropping you for by, Revan, Revan Tooley. Tooley. Yeah. Uh, and all the rest of you, I'll give a shout out to everybody who stuck around to the end. Old uh, Style, Kathman 2D, Revan Tooley, Ivory Tower Collections, uh, Vitoko, uh, Nostalgic 26, Phaser Cat Games, Atari 2600 Dude, Charles Wheeland. Who else? Who else? Rendered Ghost, um, RC7E, VHZC, Pac-Man Plus, uh, Carl G. Did I say their name already? Oh, oh, Metal Lunar Seven. Mm -hmm. Rendered Ghost fed uh, the Atari. I don't know. If Thank you so much, yeah. Rendered Ghost. He loved you to the end of time. And that is the top of the yeah. screen. And I echo uh, Vitoko's and question. Yeah. And Arena Foot, hope you're feeling better or getting better or yep. yes, keeping well. Congratulations um, to all the developers yes. on this list. Amazing games. Like, wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Vitoko, why is the 7800 over a box? Uh, Because I did very poor planning when I installed my S video cable and put it pointing down. Okay. And... There appear to be no right angle S video cables anywhere anymore on the internet. Oh god. Okay. So and S video cables are quite like long. Thick. Yeah. And then you have to have the cable bend. So it's like that no. much sticking out the seventy eight hundred. And the seventy eight hundred is that well, you guys can't see me. Uh very well. Seven eight so that it's sticking out that far, and the seven eight hundred is that tall. Oh, no. So I have to have it on a box where the S-Video cable... Where it's lifted. So I either have to relocate the S-Video cable mm. out the back... Or finally find a cord that'll work with it. But <laughs> thick cables work better. You don't get the jail bars, right? Okay. So I can't use a thin cable, which I originally did, mm. to bend really quickly. Mm. So the solution really is find a right-angle S-Video cable. Anyone? No. I looked... There used to be, but who uses S video cables? Yeah, relocate. relocate. <laughs> so I'll probably have to relocate it, fill in, or just leave it open, leave oh, yeah. a little hole or something. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to redo it. Yeah, could install it where I normally do. Uh, I'll have to check one of your videos where you installed it because mm. that might be obviously it's going to be a better place. Because yeah. I was stupid, I thought, oh, I'll put it in the bottom is a nice area there, but no, it's not enough room. You have to test these things out fully. <laughs> That's you learn. I don't show the AV jacks in most of my vids. Oh, I see. Oh, really? Oh. But you must show like end results or where you've drilled them or a picture or something, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. anyways, if you can send me over little rubber plastic plugs. Yeah, little, little plastic ones. I'm not too concerned about a hole in there. Mm. Like it's on the bottom too. You can't see it. 
Uh, petition analog to make an FPGA based 2670-800 machine. Uh, the Collector Vision Phoenix has an FPGA based 2600 core at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the 7800 core, mm -hmm. but there you go. Um, oh, here we go. Let's take a look where he puts it. Oh, way, way down, very, very bottom. Oh. All along the back. Okay. Neat. In that little carved out area. Thank you so much, Jesse. Um, I think that's it. For I think now. so. Oh, we fell two hours. That's pretty A good. A wonderful day of... Perfect timing. Excellent games. Oh, my God. Yeah. And so many good games. Next episode... Even oh more? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> the work in progress, the stuff that's coming up on the 7800. Yeah, that's exciting. Burning the Cubic Conundrum, Cannon in D, D for Defense, Dragon's Havoc, mm -hmm. Night Guy Quest for Something, Ninja Guy Perilous Island, Space Peril, Arkanoid, Attack of the Petsky Robots, Ghosts and Goblins, Keystone Capers, Mario Brothers, and Penta, which is wow. Pengo. Nothing but hits. Nothing but that hits. That just keep on coming. <laughs> it's amazing. Um... Yeah, so I have to get prepared for the, the awards. The awards. Need you to record some Polish names. <laughs> Voiceovers again. Yeah, somebody actually volunteered. Uh, to read them all out for me so no. I can say them properly? <laughs> to, to phonetically <laughs> spell them. Okay, that's fine too. Because he said, too. I watched uh, last year's awards. <laughs> It's really... And I think I can help you out to do better than the Google Translate pronunciation. Yeah, because that's that's what we ended up doing. Yeah, we typed them in. And, and then tried and, to hear, yeah. And then get them phonetically spelled out. Yeah. And, yeah, it was... But then sometimes even hearing it, you mess it up when you're reading a big list of names. So yeah. it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I have some of the quarter-inch plugs I've used artist. on some of the pre done consoles. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. It it's is tough. It is. I respect even, that now. Even even non-Polish names. Some of them are like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the wrong pronunciation. Yeah. We need the night guy versus ninja guy crossover. Oh. It might be coming. Oh. Maybe it could be a one versus one or a platform. You know, <laughs> type of game. A two yeah. player. Oh, it could have a split screen. Two well, player, um, ninja guy on one and, and night guy on the other. Like the one you were just showing where they jump oh. up the screen and they dodge things and then one dies. Even better, two player. you can switch and they have different abilities. <laughs> right? The kind ninja of, guy um, can jump and do certain things, jump up walls and the night guy's tough sure. and hard. And then and he has the weapon. You can also become the ball that bounces around on the walls. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yep. So free ideas for VHDC. <laughs> Like he needs them. Because oh he needs God. them, yeah, yeah. Like Lost Vikings. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's that's a perfect analogy. They have, I think Lost Vikings has three different guys okay. that you switch between, and they all have different oh, abilities. Um, one is like blocking, and one is jumping, and I can't remember. What's, what's, what's... Uh, I think I have it. What I is that? Lost Vikings? I do. Re um, pixelated game where you, you're like in the jungle, and it feels very 80s, and you... Lost Vikings. There you go. Good genesis. I want to call it Full Metal Jacket, but that's not the name of it. Your jungle? Uh, no, you're you're Sorry? fighting, and then you switch between guys, and yes. it's like an arcade game, and it times out, and they have to keep continuing. Switch between guys. Yeah. Ooh. They have different abilities. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know that one. That's too vague. Jacket? No, what is it? Oh, I can picture it in my head. Rambo? It's a Rambo-ish. It's a Rambo-ish... And you switch between yes, guys? Yes, it's a newer game. Oh, newer? You've On what platform? I don't... Oh, Broforce. No, I wasn't thinking of Broforce, but that is what? similar. What? That describes Broforce no, perfectly. No, it, it, it's like, similar exactly. to that. Oh, I can't think of... <laughs> Broforce is a good game. I can't think of the best way to describe it. Uh, it's, it's very pixely as well. It has a name. like It's just shooting, a constant shooter constant game. Constant shooter. You're you like switch. killing... It's a run and it's gun? It's a forest, yeah. Is it side scrolling or uh, both? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, it's killing me. Metal Lunar says I was thinking Bro Force too. Oh, it's killing Battle me. Battle Axe. Yeah, that's a cool game. No, it has a weird name too. Like Full Metal Jacket or like it has a weird name. And I play it? Yes, you played it. I have it on. It's like an arcade game. No, nah, you lost me. I don't know. You're like in a jungle and you're different, different like army guys and you, you swap Bro them Force. out. Bro Force. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> it'll come to me. It'll come to me. And it's on like PS4 uh, or, or, or Switch, like one yeah. of those. Yeah. Oh, okay. I or know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what know. you played it on. I don't know. I don't know either. I'll remember it, or you'll remember it after the feel. show. Five minutes after the show. I right? know. Uh, go back live yeah, when it I comes know, to I know. to a two-minute show. Oh, what is no. it called? No. You're like you're like army. Fighting through a forest. I think. Are you killing zombies or just enemies? It's modern. I think it is. I think it's pixelated but modern. I. I... Shovel Knight. No. <laughs> I don't know. Contra. No, it's a new game. New pixelated oh, retro. I'll, I'll know game. the name. When Russian I... Attack. That's a good good guess, but you don't yeah. switch guys in Russian oh, Attack. Anyway, this. we're done. Mm. You think about it tonight. I will. I'll bring, I'll bring it up, it up in the show. next stream. <laughs> or then we'll stream after on Saturday. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching and sticking around. Uh, yes, have a good night and have a good week. Yeah. We're back here on Friday yes. with more awesome games with Darcy. So tune in there. Yeah. Tune in then. Or uh, yeah. See you then. Yep. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.